Welcome back to the CPU CS. Today we are at the training camp watching all the heroes fight together to see who will join Vincent on the crusade to fight off Dark Vince and his lackeys. But first, we have newly picked up Parsec Captain Falcon. You know, you've seen him on streams a lot, you know, Captain Disrespect. And much like he streams, you can stream games with your friends on Parsec. But let's talk about that later. Let's get into the match right now. We've seen a lot of sponsor curses happen, and we've also seen a lot of sponsor curses not happen. What do you think is going to happen or not happen today, Joe? I really think that Captain Disrespect, Captain Falcon... I agree with you. <laughs> All right, but we have seen some explosive matches from Captain Falcon lately, and Mega Man, not too frequent of a competitor around these parts, you know? Yeah, he just likes to stay at home and lap stuff out. Mm -hmm. He's just an absolute tech monkey, but... His tech is going a long way. That's something he's been grinding back home, you know. If he was grinding at, he would have landed the sweet spot. Oh, there it is. You looking for a sweet spot? Oh, bold recovery option from Falcon. And he just cannot get off. Oh, look, he got off the ledge. Oh, that was actually very clean. Dude, that was <laughs> clean as hell. Is that a two frame? Uh, I sure. want to call it a two frame. Yeah. That was at least a five frame. Oh, <gasps> my God. Dude, that was a low percent shock. Oh, oh my god! god. Turned it around. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Someone was going to that blast zone. Is that Metal Boy's really? Oh, he caught. Oh, dude, he's. No way. Okay, oh, I man. thought he was going to drop it on him. I thought he was going to do something really dirty. I think he's going to edge trap him with it. I just got to say, I'm so happy the computers in this game actually go for the shit. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, they. Like that! Dude. Smash 4 computers would not have gone for that knee. Ooh, or that, that got player. it! Oh my god, that got it! Was hot. Is Falcon gonna choke this? Is this sponsor curse again? Dude, there's no way Falcon chokes this. Come on, Parsec Falcon, what are you gonna do? How are all your fans gonna deal with this at home? They're rooting for you in Switch chat right here, right now. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, oh, ooh! He tried to end it right there. Falcon, don't choke this. No! He's choking on Mega Man right now. <laughs> He's the mix up. That was the sickest anti air I've ever seen. Oh, Falcon is getting greedy. He wants to end this right now. He feels so. He looks so flustered. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's how he okay. is. Made me eat my words. Yeah, let him know. Be sure to resubscribe. You got Twitch Prime. Let him know. And anyways, y'all want to hear about Parsec? Parsec is a software designed to make local co-op games playable over the internet. And as you know, I have made multiple videos with my partnership in Parsec, and I am sad to announce that this is the last video we will do together. At least under, like, this partnership and contract, and you know how it goes. But needless to say, Parsec has been very good to me, and I would like to return the favor by giving them a slot in the CPU CS. And I know that most of you guys are console players, but if you guys do play PC games and you ever have a game where you're like, dang, if only I could play this online, but the game doesn't allow it. That's when Parsec comes in. That's what I used to do with Spelunky, and I even do it with Mario Party, because it just net play isn't that good. But anyways, there are several games to use it on, and I'm sure that more games will come out in the future <laughs> that I could be used for. So be sure to try Parsec for free. Click the link in the description and get your free software. And thank you for Parsec for partnering me for the past six, seven months. Parsec Captain Falcon moves on, and now we have the battle of two babes, We Fit Trainer versus Daisy. Travis, I have a very professional question to ask you. Uh, okay, what is, what's up? On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard would you pipe We Fit Trainer? <laughs> like, 9. <laughs> 9? I like how you didn't even want to give it your all. <laughs> hey, you have to save a little bit. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't. No, no, like, that, that is definitely a positive affirmation. It's just a little less positive than I expected. What's I can't unsee the whole, like, her hair looking like a mustache. I can't unsee it. It is. Oh, why'd you point that out? Whoa, what? That would, that would have been the weirdest gimp. Is it a gimp if you're at, like, 100 plus percent? Yo, we Fit. I don't know if you guys have seen the hitboxes on We Fit Forward Air. But she definitely got the coochie box on it. She does? Yeah, no, she has a hitbox right in the that area, you know? Oh my god. Ooh. And nice she's coming right up Daisy's. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, okay. I like how honest that approach was from Daisy. You know? Yeah. Didn't try to fade out. No, there there is nothing. She was like, I'm gonna approach and down air, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Also, shout out to Stanley. So here's the thing. Even though we fit has all this tech at her disposal, Daisy is a top tier. Yeah. She sure is. You don't really need a lot of tech when you just got back air, in there, and down tilt, and fair, and... You can really just roll your face on the C-Stick with Daisy. 
What oh. are they doing? They're just playing a good game of soccer. Yeah, it's called neutral. Oh! <laughs> I hate that that works. Why is that move so good now? I think that's one of the most cursed combos in all the <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Right off the top of that. Ooh. Oh! Did I just let it rock? Dude, there's no foreplay in that. She just let it rock right there. And again! We is definitely out here falling. Dude. Why? What? <laughs> We were having such good flow today. We were having grand old time. And then you had to bring that. Yeah. You're wobbling. Wait, what did you just say? It you're, sounds like she said you're wobbling. Yeah, yeah. that's what I heard. Yeah. Like, that's oh. why we fit should be a top tier. She's the only character who trash talks mid game. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's a lot more than just words. Daisy's been skipping too many yoga classes, hitting up the Starbucks too frequently, and we Fit Trainer moves on. But now we got two more babes. We got Zelda versus Lucina. And honestly, I'm just torn here. Oh, we forgot to turn Hazard Drops today. YOLO! Yeah, let's just let it rock. Hey, they're training. Yeah, it's just a filler arc, who they're, cares? They're preparing for any possible scenario, all right? Yeah, you don't know what the Dark Realm's gonna pull out against you. Try to tell me they don't play with Hazards on in the Dark Realm? No, no, no. Dude, they play with they items the on the Dark Realm. I want Zelda in the Dark Realm, actually. Oh, yeah, let's send her to the Dark Realm. Yeah. She's, she needs to be there. All right, Lucina, I'm sorry, dog. I'm voting you off the island today, though. Ooh, and that back here is going to take it. Zelda looking like she wants to help Vincent infiltrate the Dark Realm. And just so we don't get too gimmicky today, whoever wins this gets to go with Vincent to infiltrate the Dark Realm. And the other thing is... We have to have six more heroes go into the Dark Realm with us. So in the description, there is a straw poll link. So let us know who you want to go to the Dark Realm with Vincent and the winner of this tournament. And if you do that, you have to subscribe and like and comment and watch whatever we do next or else. Anyway, Zelda cannot die. Oh my God. Commentators. She sure did. Wow. <laughs> also, I think I was looking away, but Lucina's on her last stock. Oh, I thought oh, she, she sure too. is. Yeah. I... Zelda's really turning up on huh? with or without items. Yeah, Lucina doesn't look like she wants to go to the Dark Realm all that much. I'd be scared. I get it. <laughs> Yo, oh. that was scary right there. Uh, I was oh. expecting the throw. Mm -hmm. Like, Zelda's only a 68. Like, I'm, I'm saying, looking kind of Zelda right now. Oh, it's looking very Zelda. She's just toying with her at this point. Oh, my Oh, no. Speaking of. I'm saying, I saw that a mile away. All right. And Lucina falls one of the earliest matches in bracket she's ever had. And now we have another match of Rosalina the Buster versus everyone's favorite hedgehog. So we are going to Battlefield. Can't think of a more hype stage. We have Rosalina, who I just want to remind everyone, she has never won a single game and she's been in like six tournaments. So she's like 0-6 right now. That is almost exactly what that means. And right now she's up against the beast himself, Sonic. Mm -hmm. And so it's probably going to be 0-7, honestly. I'm just saying, like, if she goes 1-7 in, in lifetime, like, that's huge. That's game change. But uh, Sonic hasn't been hit yet. Oh, no. <laughs> He's too fast for her, dude. <laughs> she can't catch up, man. She looked at him. This Sonic is going nuts. <laughs> yeah, this really could be a Cinderella story. Just imagine what would happen if Rosalina takes one whole stop. Dude. And imagine if she won. Because I, I actually can't. I can't either. I'm just saying, neither of these characters have lost a stock yet. It's pretty much even almost. Rosalina being incredibly light and at 116, she's still in this game. Honestly, that's one thing I've always respected about Sonic. He's just so hard to read. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, you're it's right. It's just sad at this point, really. It's so miserably sad. We need to get this girl a mentor. She needs a coach. She does. I just want to say that was mean. That was such a mean thing. That read just felt really mean. The thing is, he's so fast, he decides to walk. <laughs> yeah. Like, making the hedgehog walk just feels like, wow, I'm really that. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, no. <laughs> Rosalina. Oh, nice catch, though. You got Okay, this. okay. You can do it, Rosa. We believe. <laughs> what? As soon as she I say this. just can't, dude. She tries so hard, but she just... Oh, my God! Okay, nice. Oh! Oh, my God! What is she doing? I like how Sonic just dipped. Hey, Luma died from that. Yo, I thought she was turning it up for a second. I've never seen anything move like that in my life. And she's just doing her best, Sonic. Come on, dude. Her best is terrible. I, you know what? I mean, yes, but... She's getting these hits. She just needs to find a way to kill him. That might be no. close to it. 
It was close. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, she got this. Ooh, oh, okay. she, hey, she's in this. Like, I think this is the closest Rosalina has ever been to victory. It is, without a doubt. And she she might just camp him out and go to sudden death. Or die. What hurts the most? <laughs> is being so close. Sonic just runs away. <laughs> <laughs> and Sonic grabs the Chaos Emerald and puts Rosalina into a miserable zero and seven. <laughs> One day she will get there. Let us know in the comments if you think she'll ever do it. I'm just going to keep putting her in. She has to win one day, right? Honestly, Honestly, at some point, I think this yes. streak's impressive. It, yeah, she's the only character with such a consistent streak. But anyways, let's look at previous tournament winner Falco versus the recently unretired Dr. Mario. So to give a little bit of history to Dr. Mario, he posted a twit longer retiring from the CPU CS because Blue and Cinderor reverse 5 would him in a match and uh, he just decided, no, 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 I'm not. And that's the story. We need him. Ah, We're he desperate. Did, he did get five reverse five he, he's got bored. Like saving lives and all is cool, but he'd rather be taking them, you know? <laughs> is he dead? He, he is. Oh, Falco the homie. Absolutely homie. dead, no. Let's go, Falco. What an asshole. Let's go, Falco. Don't talk about Falco like that. I swear to He's God. He's hype. What's worse, getting reverse five stock or getting three stock? Getting reverse five stock. Or getting reverse five stock. Yeah, okay, no, that was worse. Without question. The thing is, whenever you get three stock, you got three stock. But whenever yeah. you get reverse five stock, you had it in the bag. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, you had the winning lottery ticket, and he just shredded it up. Losing is one thing, choking is another. But hey, look, Dr. Mario's actually putting some damage on this Falco. The first week of Ultimate, I genuinely thought Dr. Mario was better than Mario. And uh, the second week of Ultimate, I stopped thinking that. Oh, the windmill. Dude, the windmill's so high. Falco wave landing on the windmill. What? What was that? He's shooting a wall. Or a windmill? That's true. Oh, nice back there, Falco. Oh my god, that might be dead. Oh. Doc is in this somehow. Falco. I, I, I'm sorry, but like, Dr. Mario is trying to make a name for himself out here. Do you know how embarrassed he was? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, good. Oh. Ooh, Falco. Oh, no, Falco. Oh. oh okay, Falco. Oh. Wow, that odd. Umbi almost just killed. Ooh, I don't like this. Um, oh, what? Oh, there were some gimmicks going on there. Oh, I don't like this. Also, isn't it a little messed up that Dr. Mario has the best shore you can in the entire game? Does he? Yeah. yeah. That's really sad. Ooh, get a dash attack from Falco. That was a nice back air. So Dr. Mario has just now posted a twit longer claiming that Ultimate sucks, Smash 4 was better, and he's retiring from the game. Cause stage control and neutral don't matter. He lost to gimmicks. And anyways, we got everyone's favorite Blue Incineroar versus everyone's also favorite King DDD. So we've seen a lot of growth from Blue Incineroar lately. Oh. I mean, it's been a while, but look at that. The in the first start, two seconds, he's starting off strong against DDD. DDD's been popping off this season. Yeah, no, he is a real up and comer. Because the thing with Blue Incineroar is he just never had the confidence that PG Incineroar had. Oh, okay. Saving it using this jump wisely. Oh! Oh my god! DD covered everything right there! I haven't seen that balloon in so long. Oh, I missed the balloon so much. Take me back, man. Oh, that's dead. Oh, I like it. I like what he was going for. That was almost dead. Oh, that's Incineroar did. Blue Incineroar does not miss those. He missed that. How did he miss that recovery? I like that side beat. And that oh down there. Y'all watch WrestleMania? Oh, yeah. Sure did. Yeah. Where was Blue and Cinema in that? Because he's making names for himself right here. Vince McMahon is too much of a coward for Blue and Cinema in. Okay, I didn't want to say it, but... I'm calling him out. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, Blue and Cinema actually has a really good chance of taking this game. Ooh. I mean... King DDD has a really good chance of taking this game. I mean, he's in Cineroar. See? He yes. really he's in bad. It's an even game. This is exactly what we want to see the CPU. So what are oh, you doing? Man. If Incineroar had actually gotten hit by that, we'd have problems. Hey, he hasn't gotten hit by it, that's but I that. still see some problems. Yeah, that's it. No, it's not. Oh, no way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Incineroar! <laughs> 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 he was wrong! Dude, he cheesed that game so hard! <laughs> Look at that smoke face! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So, um, Blue and Cinema moves on in bracket, and hashtag DDD got robbed. But anyways, we have Krom versus Ken. You know, the one from our timeline. We got platforms moving. 
How about that? I forgot there was a balloon here. Yeah, and a balloon. I just miss balloons. I put balloons on every stage, and it's a perfect game. You know, I think this is the best we've ever seen Ken do. Yeah, Ken's doing well. I feel like he studied the boss from Dark Ken, you know? And he, this Ken might just be a better fighter than any Ken we've seen before. I honestly thought Ken was going to kill himself right there, so he Ooh. has had improved. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Never mind. And to think this man thought he was good enough to represent us in the Dark Realm. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Okay, nice anti-air Hadouken. And dash? Okay. Why would you anti-air with a Hadouken? Man, sometimes you gotta like that, you know? Dude, this is kid we're talking about. He's, he's dead. No, he's got a jump. No, oh, no, no, no. wait, he's dead. Oh, Magna Hands. Magnus. Uh-oh. I feel like I never see that move from Krom. Oh, his up smash? Yeah. He just has so many other good moves. Why need it? <laughs> what? Why would you do that? I like how he knows that you can cancel an aerials and the specials, but he cancels them into Hadouken, and it never connects. I'm really excited to see what Nintendo does with Patch 3.0, and I really want to see how it affects our computer tournaments. Because I feel like it will, right? It should. Joker's going to shake things up, and then when Ken gets buffed, and then when the... Uh, Peach and Daisy get gutted, and they put Sheik in the game. I really hope they put Sheik in the game. It's very deceptive that they said everyone is here and they didn't put Sheik in here. Oh, oh, oh that's God. dead. Yeah. Nothing impressive really happened. Ken just died. So Ken falls again, and Ken and Rosalina still have not won a match, but they will one day. I believe in them. I believe in Rosalina more than I believe in Ken. I don't believe in either of them. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Well, anyways, we got Ridley versus Bowser. Yo, these are some big boys. Oh, my God. I like how Ridley never changes. Oh my god, he never changes. Oh, yeah. amazing tech. Dude. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Ridley. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta say, okay, we say Rosalina is the most consistent CPU, but in terms of atmosphere and stamina and attitude, Ridley has been so consistent. Like, he goes for the greed, and then he kind of gets rock immediately after that. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's dead now. <laughs> Did you see Bowser just slowly walk up to him and edge guard him? I really do think Bowser's taking off this game. Ridley always has one really good stock, does something cool, and he's like, I'm done. I'm going home. He got his Twitch clip. Yeah, that's all he comes here for. This game is looking very Bowser. If Ridley ends up taking it, there's definitely going to be some cheese, like some Parmesan, if you will. Oh, that's dead. And now that's a kill throw? Gone. Why? Bowser did not need a kill throw. Ridley does what Ridley does best, and that is put on a show. But now we have Parsec Falcon versus We Fit Trainer. Like, if We Fit Trainer was a good character and had deep breathing, this game would not be fun. It would be terrible. It would be her time. You know what? At this point, she kind of deserves it. I think it'd be so weird for this fighting game if We Fit Trainer was the best character. It like, would be very strange, that's for sure. It's already weird to say Princess Peach. Oh, oh God! Oh, I feel a dare coming. No? Oh. Oh, oh my God. She's doing that for part I feel it coming. Oh, I feel something gross coming. Right there? There it is. Yep. I felt that. I'm surprised neither of them are trying to get metal right now. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, that was metal as hell. I don't know what you mean. Uh, he got footstool on him. Ah! Okay. What? Uh, Wait, what? He got spike? What? Hey, Jacob, I have a very professional question for you. The answer is 10. Okay. Is this it? No. Okay. Oh, I thought she was going to rock rock him. I thought she was going to get that. Tech. Oh, watch out for those flames. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Is that? There is a down beat. Oh, wow. oh, oh my god. That's it. That's it. That's he doesn't have a jump. That's it. He doesn't have a jump. We yeah. moves on. So we fit one of the bigger up and comers right now, moves on in bracket, and now we get to have an electrifying match of Zelda versus Sonic. So we're going back to battle. I'm surprised Zelda saw him destroy Rosalina and decide to take him back to here. It's like Zelda thinks Rosalina is a joke and just didn't know the matchup. Oh, and then Zelda go grab, she grab that. You live like that girl? Dude, when you got She's it. really about it. Ooh. That's a grab. Oh, spot dodge down smash. Classic. Such a big move for no reason. Gotta love it. Wow, ledge trump to ledge trump. What a combo. Brilliant play on all honesty. Truly remarkable. Yo, Zelda really wants to play the game. You can tell. And then Sonic's just not letting her. But she's getting, like, the most absurd text I've ever seen. Oh. Oh. Wait, I really respect how committed both of these players are to their B moves. And not even that. Neither of them are adapting to the other player. Like, they're so stubborn in their own ways. They're like, man, it might work. Eventually. 
and I respect that. It's hard to stay hyped for Sonic. I'm not gonna lie, man. I still got the energy in me. Whoa! Nair! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Homing attack! Homing attack! Uh -oh. Nice back air. Watch out for that mm, attack. And Spin dash the wrong direction. Oh, watch this! Oh, he grabbed the ledge! Ah! Oh! The DI from Sonic to not oh, die. Clint that. Oh, dude! Clip that! Clip that! Smash that subscribe button! Please! Ah! Yo, is this probably gonna actually go to time? I think this is actually uh, gonna be yeah. our first time. Oh my god. Oh, I thought you were doing it. It makes sense that the match that goes to time has Sonic in it. Sonic's not that campy, guys. I promise. You guys are still playing, right? <laughs> Before you comment angry thing, just please change your profile picture if it's Shadow. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry. You just <laughs> called out all of them. <laughs> yeah, you just slaughtered. You just committed that was like too aggressive. Genocide. Sonic fans, I appreciate you. I appreciate all my fans. He parried two of those in a row. I just want to say, Zelda's at 200. Oh my god. Commentators. Whoa. Why did you speak, man? You whoa. killed her. Whoa. Anyways, yeah, this game's going to time, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Thank God, so you have saved us. So Zelda moves on to nobody's surprise, one of the strongest fighters in all of CPU CS history. And now we have the smuggest CPU versus the cheesiest. I get, he, come on, he, he kind of cheesed that last game out, no? Blue and Sinwar has a lot of fight, and Falco also has a down air. <laughs> that doesn't kill in this game. Yeah, that was, how does that make you feel, Joe? I don't want to talk about it, okay? It's okay There's so many it's, things about Falco in this game. It's therapeutic to talk about your problems. Patch 3.0, baby! All I want is a shine that works. Um, Just realize so many people prayed for buffs for Jigglypuff in Smash 4 and never got them. Uh oh, that's a sauce. Oh! 50 oh, to 50 right there! And he tried to go for that stomp. That would have been it. Oh my god. Oh, he <laughs> went for it! Blue and Sinwar is saucy! What happened to him, man? He's changed. Joe, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling blue and cinema for this. Yep, there he goes. For multiple reasons. That's done pretty more. Bad. What? Oh, Falco. Okay. Oh, the gangster laser. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God, God bro. Oh, God, bro. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> I thought he was going to cheese out another game. <laughs> the stars aligned for that one. Oh, that's no. no, no, he's still alive. Oh, just barely. <laughs> Falco. He dies to anything. They both do, really. Falco. He's going to get the next good hit. That's it. No. So Blue and Cinemore triumphs over Falco. And Joe might be a little quiet, so give him some time. But anyways, we got Crumb versus Bowser. I've seen a whole lot of nothing this match so far. Oh, my God. Crumb's dead. Oh, he really. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Bowser, you didn't need to go for seconds. He was already dead. He's at 30. Armor. Wait, he's dead. Oh, like, I just want to go on record. I think Bowser Crom is a winning matchup for Bowser. Why does Bowser have like such a nasty combo game in all of us? It's really weird. Like, I think Bowser's really scary in this game. That could have been it. Oh, yeah. I oh. wanted everyone to know that could have been it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was such a worse way to die. Yeah, so Bowser just kind of said this floor needs some cleaning and Krom's looking like a mop. But now we got We Fit versus Zelda in the semifinals. I don't know why I just got reminded of it, but damn, Zelda is really cute in this game. Zelda, so I just want to protect that smile, you know? So I feel like Zelda is going to win. Yeah. And that's my high level analysis on the match thus far. And until I am proven wrong, I will stand by my analysis. And if I was a real commentator, I would stand by my analysis, even if it is proven wrong. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Oh. Commentator's curse. No, oh, okay. What do you say? Oh, my oh. God. When you just kind of hold the aggression and just hold forward, I feel like you don't really respect your opponent enough, you know? You think Zelda respects anyone? She's a princess. Yeah, she doesn't need to, dude. She looks down on this poor gym teacher. Like, you're talking to royalty. She just killed herself. She's just flexing on Wii Fit Trainer because Wii Fit Trainer isn't going to make that much money. You ever just SD when you're in the 1% for fun? I imagine Bill Gates does that, like, nonstop, so... Ooh. Like, you don't even want to talk to the rich about stocks. They just throw it away all the time. They've ruined them for us. That joke had two meanings. Oh. 
So Zelda can still win this. Yeah, Absolutely. you know, they call it a charity stock for a reason. The rich are just giving back to the poor, you know? That's what we in the business like to call taxes. Yeah, trickle-down economics aren't necessary when we have Pumi stocks. So even though, like, Zelda is heavily behind Wii Fit, I feel like she's still gonna turn up somehow. Because the stock she threw away, it just... It hurt her a little bit, but the royal blood will come through. Ooh, that was good. Oh my god! Oh. And the poor stay poor and the rich get richer. Zelda chilling in grand finals, and now we have a big boy joining her, either Blue Incineroar making his finals debut, or Bowser doing the exact same. Bowser, you know, he's an experienced veteran. He's seen all kinds of Smash Bros. But Blue and Sen, he's just he's just a baddie, you know? Does he have the training required to overtake Bowser? You know, you don't really need training whenever you have gimmicks. Yeah, and if you see him ever sauce up with revenge, they don't get much gimmicky than that. What? Whoa. Up smash, that's what it had to be. Oh. Oh, oh, but I really like that one. He was literally dead against DDD and still pulled it out. Look at that! What? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he's making me eat my words. Yeah. Holy oh, hell. He was... got hit and comboed out of it. Okay, I'm more scared for Bowser right now. Is this the tournament of Blue and Cinnamon? And we can't. Oh, no. Ooh, we can't cancel oh. it out yet. Oh, oh, my God. I thought he was going to get away with it. This is like nearly even, you know? Oof. And it is all of a sudden. Oh my that god, re what? <gasps> no! 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 Oh my god! Holy sh- Ooh. So I'm just want to say that that game looked like it was swinging hard at Bowser, and then in like half a second, everything became Incineroar favored. And you saw on that victory screen, Blue Incineroar was already holding the belt, but the tournament's not over yet. He's got to fight Zelda in finals. So who's going to win? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more because we will do more. And let me know who you want to see in future tournaments. And again, check in the description because we got a straw poll on who's going to go into the Dark Realm. Which, if you don't understand that concept because I know it got convoluted, just go watch the first episode of this season. It was fine. So Travis, Joe, who do you got your money on? Incineroar, for sure. What about you, Joe? I think that... Zelda. I lose. am always wanting to root for Zelda. She's my girl. But the underdog story of Blue and Sinor is forming before our very eyes. And he pulls ahead right off the bat. And I feel really bad watching this happen to Zelda. She's so sweet. She doesn't deserve this. And she's so confident. She's a previous tournament winner. Yeah, but she's also the 1%, so... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm kind of on team with Blue and Sinora right now. He's kind of just having his way with her. Can't say I'm too surprised. I will. I'll say I'm plenty surprised. Zelda has proven to be one of the strongest computers in the entire series. And she's showing us why. She may be down, but she's not out. This is looking like Blue and Sin's big win right now. Oh my god. Oh man. Very well might be. Very tough mountain to climb for Zelda. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> he is being a man right now. Are you serious? Do you think he just saw these like too easy? Give me a challenge. Why'd you do that? He just took the training weights off, man. <laughs> That's what you happened. Dumbass! <laughs> He's still winning though. Boy, when Sinner, what does she ever do to you? Like PG and Sinner has kind of fallen off a bit, and he is redeeming his place in the throne of the strongest Incineroar player in the CPU CS. All right, Zelda though. <laughs> Boy hand. No, oh, she's, she's alive. She's alive. She has a chance. Blue and Cinema, you can't get too carried away with this. The game is not yours yet. Almost killed her off the top. That is yeah! Blue and Cinema takes home the gold. So Blue and Cinema knocks everyone out and wins training camp. Truly the underdog story we've been praying to see. He is going to help our good friend Vincent in exploring the dark realm. But, um,. I don't know how to tell you guys this, but uh, we have an intruder from the Dark Realm right here. Is that our Link? What dark? have they done to him? That's it's not Link, that's Dark Link. Yeah, that's Dark Audible's Dark Link. What has the Dark Realm ever since Dark Vince defeated him? What happened to him? It's He's not the hero that we know and love. We have to save him. We have to awaken this fighter, Blue and Cinnamon. You're all the hope we have. We saw what Audible Link did in the Realm of Light, but what can Dark Audible Dark Link do when he's in his own element? 
Oh my god! Ooh, Ooh 16! Oh, 73! Is this the hero we needed all along? Is he gonna save us? Is he gonna purify Dark Link in front of us? Is our hero coming home? I never thought Blue Incineroar would be the hero we needed for our realm. No, but you know what? He might be just the hero we need. Is he gonna three-star Dark Link? He's rocking Dark Link right now. If Blue Incineroar purifies Dark Audible Link, we will have our hero back, and our Audible Link will go into the Dark Realm with Blue Incineroar and Vincent. Uh-oh. Yeah, and he hit him with that Link. Oh. He got caught. Cinemark, please just uh -oh. play it. Oh, what? Who oh, I've never seen that before. I know that worked. It shouldn't. Blue Incineroar, restoring our hero back. Epic.